<laughs> no. <laughs> okay.
Yeah. Come on. That's all I'm gonna do in real life. Sherry said, you can go. Quan said, you can just slow down. Yeah.
Okay, you can unplug me. So, I've done the first part of my workout in here this morning. Um, sweating in the spirit. You can get happy doing that video. I got a little happy sitting over in the chair listening to the second part, Shirley Murdoch. They really do exercise and you really do sweat. Now, I have been doing that video a couple of times and I have only been able to get through the first part and I have only been able to do 25 minutes so far. So, don't overdo it when you first start exercising. Go slowly, um, do what you can. Do what you can, this is about you. This is your journey. This is about you, okay? Do what you can. I'm getting ready to go back in the back and do some more exercise. I'm getting ready to get on my uh, treadmill. I'm getting ready to uh, lift some weight. So I'll share that with you also. Let's go. Let's go. You can do this. I don't care how old you are. Your exercise doesn't have to be pretty or anything like that. Just do it. You want to sweat. You want to burn calories. You want to feel it. After you feel, get through exercise, you're going to feel better. Maybe when you're getting ready to start, you're not going to want to do it all that much. But once you get started, you're going to really enjoy it. So I have finished my exercise in the back, and I'm getting ready to make some breakfast. I have some bacon cooking. My husband wants his bacon. He wants his bacon soft cooked. And then I like mine crispy, so I got to keep an eye on the bacon while I'm cooking it this morning. Um... If you eat breakfast in the mornings, what time do you usually eat your breakfast? Um, I am breaking my fast, and I usually break my fast around 10, 30, 11 o'clock, somewhere around there. Um, normally, um, if I can go longer um, before I eat, I do that also. I like to actually wait and eat around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and that way when I eat later, um, normally it's just a light snack. And I end up having a really, really good day as far as my macros and calories and everything that I've eaten. Now, I don't uh, keep my calories low. Um, my calories have been falling like between 1,500 and 2,000. And if I keep my calories there, I've found, and then just exercise and put in the work that I need um, with, you know, movement and different things... Um, it, it works well for me. Um, it seems like when I work on reducing my calories down low and trying to keep my macros um, in order and everything, it works. But I really seem to have better luck just when I exercise, when I walk, and when I eat correctly. Those things um, really work good together for me. When I reduce um, my food intake, and then I try to exercise, um, it makes it harder for me. And really when I am um, trying to lose weight, I want to feel as good as I possibly can. Um, I want to uh, maintain my energy level because if any of those things drop, then I tend to feel bad and I eat more than I normally would. So... This is what I'm making this morning. I'm going to have a breakfast sandwich. going to have eggs and bacon and a um, couple of slices of toast. Um, my husband, he uses that regular bread. Um, and I am having the France keto white bread. I like this bread because it really ends up having no carbs in the bread. And um, the calories are only like 35, 40 calories per slice. So... Um, mostly everything else in the bread is fiber and it has a little bit of protein. So that's what I use. These are the egg yolks of my eggs. They are such a deep yellow orange. They're almost orange. Almost orange. 
says, thanks for making the happy egg happy choice. Eggs from hens living on over eight acres of pasture. Eggs from small family farms. Eggs with insta-worthy yolks. No filter needed. Hmm. Those yolks surely are different, aren't they? I saw a farm or a house out on the highway where they were selling eggs. So I'm going to go back by there and I'm going to start buying my eggs from them. Um, if you can find someone who sells eggs, buy their eggs. Um, eggs that are um, laid on farms or, you know, that people raise their own hens. Those are some of the best eggs to get. So if you find a farm or you can go to a farmer's market and buy eggs, um, you can do that. But what I want to say, you do not have to have grass fed or, you know, all of these organic foods in order to start keto. Start right where you are at. You can do that. Hey, that's what I said. So this is my breakfast this morning, and I'm getting ready to make my drink. I have one of the sugar-free drinks. That's right. And That's I just me. put a little bit in ah, my glass, um, and then I add the rest in water, along with some ice. And it's very, very good. It's already no calories, no sugar, uh, no carbs, nothing in there, no protein. So it's really good like this, and you can enjoy your drink. But this is my breakfast, something simple. Getting ready to eat my breakfast. Five pieces of bacon, two fried eggs, two pieces of toast. I'm gonna make a sandwich. My sparkling ice drink, half and half. Let's get started. So good morning and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting here, I'd like to say hello, howdy, I'm so glad that you're here today. When you come here, I want you to feel comfortable and I want you to feel welcome. I always feel welcome to come and visit Keto Granny's Lifestyle. Keto Granny's Lifestyle. Yeah, this is about how I live, what I do. This, I could talk about anything on this channel. So, but the main thing that I talk about is weight loss getting healthy and the ketogenic lifestyle. I have lost over 120 pounds during the ketogenic lifestyle. I did manage to gain back 30 pounds of that weight during the pandemic and just living life, just living life. So I managed to keep off a hundred of those pounds, a little over a hundred, about 107 total that I have been able to keep off during my weight loss journey. So I like to share diet tips that worked for me, diet tips that I have started implementing and using again. And I want to share these tips with you because these are some things that can help you along the way. Um, I started doing all other kinds of stuff, you know, a lot of the fad diets. When I say the fad diets, I mean like one meal a day, um, adding in protein sparing, modified fasting. I just started switching off stuff when I should have just stayed keto. What do they say? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. A lot of times that's where we make our mistake. We see all these other new diets that are working and they are good diets and they do work. But the one that worked the best for me was the ketogenic diet. So I have continued to live the ketogenic lifestyle. Even when I am stressed, um, even when I can't work out and do, I at least try to eat as I should and stay on point. Here are some of the dishes that I have had uh, in the past few days, as far as eating on the ketogenic diet, here's salad. I've added salads back into my meals. Um, salads are nutritious. They have lots of vitamins, minerals. And you, the only thing I really don't like about eating salads is that they are carby. Vegetables have lots of carbs. But they are good carbs. So they are carbs that you should eat and still incorporate into your diet. This is keto lasagna, and I have a little bit of hot sauce on this, but this was part of my meal okay, prep. This here is my um, keto lasagna, and this is what I have left from my meal prep. 
And what I do is just take one of these squares out. Each square is a serving. Take one of the squares out, pop it in the microwave. Um, add, if I want a topping, like I, I like to add like maybe a little bit of hot sauce or something like that. But usually you just like it is. And this is a meal. I can add something on the side like arugula, uh, some spinach, you know, some green. I, I like to add some green with it. Um, when I say green, I mean like some type of a vegetable. But for me, it's more like a salad uh, with a little bit of dressing. And that's going to be my meal. That's what I'm going to have for my lunch today. But I wanted to show you, you know, that you can have stuff prepared in the refrigerator. This is my dinner, some steak. It's got a little bit of gravy on it, so I'll try to get lots of this gravy off. But I want some of the meat. And then I have some broccoli and cheese. That's it.